While here at T-Talk, we'd love to play the latest in Asian American theater, spoken word, and comedy. We also love to hear from our listeners. Call number 21, you're on the air. Hi, I'm Simone Cat. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm on the radio. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, I have a question to ask you. I mean, I just got into a relationship, and I need some advice. And, okay, here's the story, but I think my diary tells it a lot better. So can I just read from my diary? Uh, okay. Uh, call number 21, exactly how many diary entries do you have? It's only, you know, it's just four. It's not that many. They're, they're really short. They're... I see. Okay, listeners, let's take a quick commercial break, and then <coughs> call number 21, you have the floor. And now back to Tita, where one of our wonderful listeners wants to share a dating problem. <coughs> Car number 21, talk to me. Finally. <laughs> All right. Dear Diary, I went out on a date today. It was one of those blind date dates that my parents put me on. I didn't know what to expect. I started talking, and you know, after some awkward moments, my country and I totally hit it off. I think my country really gets me. We recognize that we're both really independent and have many interests and goals. You know what's really funny? We both have the same birthday, July 4th. Isn't that crazy? Dear diary, things have been going well with my country. In the beginning, my country asked me strange questions like, what are you and how did you get such straight black hair? But since then, things have been pretty okay. And I try not to notice when my country stares at me for a long period of time, which is kind of sweet because it means my country is really enamored with me, but it can get a little creepy. But in general, I love spending time with my country, especially reading and hanging out in cafes. Dear Diary, my country has been getting a little aggressive lately, especially around children and old people. At first, my country was a really great people country, but there's a side of my country I've never noticed before. My country thinks my country shouldn't have to pay for my parents' retirement, and poor black kids who are failing in school should just pull themselves up by their bootstraps and just try a little bit harder. I'm not sure what to think of my country. Dear Diary, I just heard from my friend BB Church that my country has been invading other people, people's personal space. When I'm not around, my country is pretty aggressive. MC Mooncat, what should I do? <clears throat> Wow, it sounds like you and your country have a lot of issues to work out. I think that the key to any relationship is communication. You need to express how you feel to your country. Otherwise, I don't see how this relationship can continue. How can it when one of you feels ignored? You need to have equality in your relationship. Wow, MC Mooncat, that was really inspirational. Thanks. No problem. <laughs>